Hello, Asta here and welcome back to my channel. So today, as the title says, you can see that I'll be recreating a Lady Gaga look that she wore on the L um, Awards and she gave this beautiful speech. And the reason why I decided to recreate this look because I have always tend to play with the warmer, um, kind of like orangey and earthy tones. So I really wanted to create something using maybe silvers and like cold the browns and stuff. So I just came across this picture from Lady Gaga and I was like this is the one I'm going to recreate this look because it looks so stunning on her um, she wore this nice silver and cold tone brown eye look with the peachy lip and I was just I was so inspired so yeah if you want to see how I achieved this um, Lady Gaga inspired makeup look just keep on watching so today I will be starting with my face and um, rather than my eyes and first of all I'm going in with this moisturizer here and it's amazing moisturizer for more oilier skin types because it makes your skin really kind of matte and it's not going to go shiny so qu as quickly as it would be with any other moisturizer. Um, I find this moisturizer is amazing um, as a primer as well so it really works for me. So I'm just applying that into the center of my face in a t-zone. apply my foundations and from foundations today um, I will be mixing the two foundations and it's the Clinique um, even better refresh um, foundation and the Dior foundation in all hours so I will be mixing the two of them and apply to my face So in that picture, uh, Lady Gaga has really um, contoured face, like cheekbones and forehead, and really kind of highlighted underneath the eyes or a center of the face in general. So I'm going to try and recreate that as well. So for contouring, I'm going to use my palette from the Contour Cosmetics. And this one here, sorry, it looks a bit manky. <laughs> um, it's just a super nice and creamy product. So I'm gonna use this shade here in the middle. First, I'm applying this color with the flat brush. Brush. I'm just placing the product underneath my cheekbones and then I'm blending it out using the same um, foundation brush I've used before. I will do the same on my forehead just anywhere um, that I want to create more dimension to. I'm happy with my contour I'm just gonna do some um, underneath the eye concealing and um, this concealer and um, the Jouer one it's quite a full coverage and I'm going to use this underneath my eyes also on the top of my forehead uh, on the chin and a little bit on my nose just to highlight and conceal at the same time just to add more coverage and set my underneath the eyes and brighten up the underneath the eye area even more I'm going to set it with Jane Ardale um, pressed uh, mineral foundation this one is color warm sienna so I'm just applying this color anywhere I applied my concealer so I just want to make sure that it's nice and full coverage and it's the, also the concealer is set in place and it doesn't move set my bronzer, I'm going to take this Laura Mercier and the bronze um, 03 baked powder and I just lightly apply it underneath my cheekbones just in the same area where I applied my cream contour. So I just want to set my cream com contour with this. So for blush I'm going to be using this NARS Orgasm blush and just apply it on the top of my cheekbones. So just to clean up my contour, I'm just taking a little bit of the Hourglass um, Veil Translucent Powder and a little kind of pointy brush. So I'm going to dip this brush into the powder and I'm just going to clean up my contour so it's nice and sharp.
For brows, Lady Gaga had really bushy and um, and tidy eyebrows in the picture, so I'm gonna use my two brows and just brush up my brows using this product first to make this more of a fluffy, um, bushy brow effect. And now I'm going to fill any sparse areas on my brows using the Revolution Pro um, Dark Brown um, Eyebrow Pencil. Now once I'm done with my face, I'm gonna move on and do my eyes. So first of all, I'm starting off with the MAC Paint Pot in color Painterly. This will act as a base for my eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna apply that with the flat brush onto my eyelids. So then I'm taking a little bit of the translucent powder from Hourglass and a big fluffy eye blending brush and just setting this paint pot in place. So the palette I'm using today is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and I'm going to use just two colors from this palette. So I'm starting off with the color Musk which is a nice kind of taupey brown and a big fluffy brush. This one is from Kitco. The name of it is my tapered crease brush. So I'm keeping the shape quite round. So I will be repeating this a step a few times um, until I'm happy with the color intensity. So now that I'm happy how my crease color looks, I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush, which is a smaller blending brush, and the color called Oud from the palette is the dark brown color, and apply that in the outer part of my eyes and really build up this color again, going in a few times with the same color just to build up the, the intensity. So for my lid color, I'm going to go in with um, Inglot Cosmetics um, Body Pigment in color 180. I'm using a flat brush to apply that onto my um, inner part of the lid and also the center. Then I'm taking my palette from MAC, this was limited edition unfortunately, but there is this nice grey or silver grey color and I'm going to use that grey onto um, on top of that Inglot pigment. And to make this silver color more intense, I'm just taking my MAC Pro pigment and this one is in color S130S. So it's a nice sparkly silvery pigment. So for the bottom part of my eyes, I'm going to use the black hole pencil. This one's from Kiko. I'm going to apply that in the outer part of my eye because Lady Gaga had um, the most of smokiness on the outer part of her eyes. And then I'm using Colors Musk and Oud from the palette to smoke out underneath the eye area even more. I'm applying the same um, cold pencil into my waterline. I'm coating my lashes with Kaki Cosmetics Mascara and applying false eyelashes. So for the lips I'm using this um, lip pencil from Sculpted by Amy Connolly. It's the lip quad and I'm using the peachy color. Lady Gaga had a really nice kind of peach um, looking lip and it was kind of very soft but um, glossy at the same time. So for lipstick I'm taking MAC Coral Bliss um, lip lipstick and applying that onto my lips. So Lady Gaga has a um, very glossy lip so I'm just gonna apply some Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk um, gloss on top um, and in the center only. And here is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful and you were inspired as well and maybe you are someone like me and tend to play with like a warm browns and earthy tones but maybe this will make to change your mind and you'll try something with silver and cool tone browns. Um, I absolutely love how this turned out, I think it's so pretty. So if you liked this video, um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'm uploading my videos every week and I shall see you all in my next video.